is your first Alert 5 weather with Alan Rose. And welcome back everyone. Weather wise, it's going to be a nice day today, especially east of the mountains. But mountain area is still dealing with some wind. Not as strong as what we saw yesterday, but I think we will see peak gust in the mountain areas up near 60 miles per hour. The good news is that we turn the corner next week. We'll see a warmer and quieter weather pattern most of the week and temperatures will be quite warm, especially by around Tuesday into Wednesday. So no red flag warnings, no high wind warnings in effect in the News 5 viewing area today, but you can see some of the northern counties right along the front range looking at the potential for some damaging wind gust up near 75 miles per hour. This does include portions of the I-70 corridor right through Summit County, as well as the Rocky Mountain National Park. Now areas to our east will be under red flag warnings. This includes Yuma, Kit Carson and Cheyenne counties just outside the News 5 viewing area for today, but areas to the south will see spotty critical fire weather conditions, and it's a similar story for the southeastern plains as we'll see dry fuels, low relative humidity values and gusty winds throughout the afternoon hours. That warning expires later this afternoon. Still dealing with the cold this morning. It's calmer than what we saw yesterday, so without the wind, temperatures much, much colder. Starting out in the low 20s right now in the springs, Pueblo, we are still in the teens with calm conditions here at the Riverwalk. Humidity pretty high at 61%. Now, as we're watching some energy move into the northern Rockies this morning, this energy will translate across northern parts of the state later today. And that's going to be the reason that we see that wind pick up as we make our way. Oh, there goes the clicker into the afternoon hours. <laughs> <laughs> As Renee mentioned, if you're just tuning in, I've been working doubles this weekend. So I'm a little bit tired and it takes some energy. The hand-eye coordination may be not all the way there. All right, let's get back to the maps. As we put this into motion, you're going to see the strong winds today across the mountain areas. And these gusts could be, again, up near 50 to 60 miles per hour. Also expecting some pretty gusty conditions out towards the Palmer Divide today. But generally speaking, the wind will not be as widespread nor as powerful as what we saw yesterday. As we head towards the evening hours, the winds will die down across the entire region, and we should see some quieter conditions heading into our Monday. As we look at the forecast here in the springs, pretty quiet through about the lunch hour, but the winds do peak by mid to late afternoon as we could see those gusts again up near 35 miles per hour. Other than that, blue skies today, plenty of sunshine with just a few passing clouds in the afternoon hours, and that bluer sky, the calmer wind translates to some warmer temperatures. Do get a bit of a downslope wind factor and that's going to push highs up from what we saw yesterday. So some great weather to get out and recreate today and the weather is going to get even better in the extended. Look what happens here. Ridge of high pressure builds in from the southwest it's going to stick around through the middle of the week. Then by the end of the week and the weekend, we get a little bit of a dip in the jet stream. Doesn't look like a powerful system, but likely bringing in some cooler temperatures and the chance for snow as we head towards next Saturday. So your highs today in the 40s in the mountain areas, we'll see 50s and 60s for everyone else. Tonight, still some lingering downslope wind, which keeps us warmer than what we saw last night. So not as cold as what we're seeing out there this morning. 50s for highs today, gusty winds, but looking much better next week by Wednesday, peaking at around 70 degrees. Puebla will be in the 60s Sunday, Monday, but check out Wednesday's forecast all the way up to 75. Look at a Canyon City, pretty comfortable here over the next seven days, especially the first part of the forecast. By the end of it, we do bring in some cloud cover, some wind, and also the chance of a rain snow mix by Saturday. And for Woodland Park, we have temperatures here in the upper 40s on Sunday. Could see gusts today, Renee, up near 60, but finally some quieter weather as we make our way into the middle of the week.